all the way up. I never run with that spring all the way up. Well, rarely. The thing is, I can just drop it down like this. And I just get my tilt with That's quite something. Wow. Sheesh. There was a storm that ripped through on Saturday night. And it just... Yeah, it destroyed things. This is Mannheim, Pennsylvania. It's a lovely little town. Currently traveling on Route 72 through Mannheim, which is also called the Mannheim Pike. Although I think they call it Lancaster Avenue in Mannheim. I'm not sure. Could it just be Main Street. I don't know. Okay, according to the sign, it is Main Street. And that's a pretty nice little town. One downside of this bike is it is relatively heavy. So backing it up, even on a slight incline, is a little difficult on my calves. Well, it was quiet until I started coming through. <laughs> now, you do get some noise from the road here, but for the most part, it's a nice, tranquil little place. There's so much farmland out here, and I love the hint of mountain. Off in the distance, it's, it's wonderful. And not so much of a hint anymore. I love those mountains. I grew up in mountains, and so it's nice to live close enough that I can get to them if I have to. <laughs> Lancaster County is a bowl, basically. A lot of flat land, a bowl in the middle of mountains. What makes it great farming? Well, the fertile soil helps, of course. That's delightful. Actually going up and down rolling hills at the moment, which is lovely. I had a very interesting double upbringing in a way. I grew up between two mountains in a valley. One of the reasons that I had such an affinity for mountains. But I also grew up not too far from several cities. So I'm used to cities. I don't really like them, but I'm used to them. I don't like them at all. <laughs> Come around the corner and there's a mountain. Oh, wow. I'm on a road that stretches between north of Mannheim all the way out to Viola and beyond. It goes all the way to Paradise. And you have to go through intercourse to get to Paradise. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and you're coming from this direction at least. <laughs> I'm not the originator of that joke. If you're not from the area, it's an old joke. And if you're not from the area, Intercourse is the name of a town in Lancaster County. Oh, there's a flag. July 5th today, but I'm still happy to see people fly the flag. It touches some of the fonder parts of my youth and makes my heart happy. Is America a perfect place? No. No, the United States is not a perfect place. There's no place perfect because all affected by the fallen nature of mankind. Is it the best there is? I think it's pretty close to it. In my uh, limited travels, I'd say, I think this is what this bike was made to do. And I think this is what it is perfect for. Just eating up the miles, following secondary roads, enjoying a great adventure. entering Warwick Township, which is the area surrounding Wittitz, Pennsylvania, which I think it was 2010 that Wittitz was voted to be the coolest small town in America. That title gets tossed around between towns. I did discover the last time I came down this way, you have to really watch when you come over the hill at this particular juncture. There's a road that comes in there. The people coming off that road have a stop sign, but they don't necessarily look up over their shoulder to check to make sure you're not coming when you come down over this hill. Nobody there today. 
Now, I didn't start at the beginning of Newport Road. And to be fair, Newport Road splits here and there. It doesn't have a contiguous connection. And I think part of that is the way that the roads were redirected and rerouted. I'm honestly not even sure where Newport is. Hello, cows. Ooh, brown Swiss. Ooh, pooping. <laughs> This is very grown up in the time that I've lived in the area. There's just nothing here. There was no intersection. That didn't exist. But I've lived in the area for well over 20 years. It used to be almost all like this. Cornfields, soybeans, tobacco. Those are the three primary crops. That is idyllic. We enter the lovely little village of Rothsville. Brownstown is yet another nice little blip on the map. Beautiful little town. I don't think it's a borough. I think it's just a spot on the map. And it's right across the river. From Talmadge. Talmadge is here. Again, a beautiful little blip on the map, but still a blip on the map. Here and just here is it, right? The guy sped up when we got to the passing zone, but I was already committed, so I had to commit enough energy to get it done. Not many passing zones still left in this area, but I'd rather have them behind me, way behind me, than in front of me where I could run into them. Now, if they were aggressive, I wouldn't want behind me. Very common to see the Amish and Mennonites walking along the side of the road. Oh. get into a lot of the roads that are damaged by buggy traffic, horse and buggy. There are discernible divots in the road, potholes made by the horses. But then they've got metal shoes and the buggy wheels were not designed with asphalt in mind. I mentioned it in a couple of other videos, but this is what remains of the goat path. It was originally going to be Route 23, but they never finished it. So we've just been through the Yola. I know this little spot here has a name, but I can't remember what it is. Stumptown is the one I'm thinking of. And right now we're on the outskirts of Stumptown. I love that old mill. Newport Road, and it wasn't for the fact that it's so poorly in repair, it would be a great riding road. As it is interesting for the things that you see as you're going along. Thomas <laughs> didn't own the lawn. That's the first motorcyclist I've seen on this particular journey. That, unless I missed my guess, used to be a toll house. <laughs> well, I know it's not coming up in the video, but there's a dog in that truck just staring. Oh, but I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, I need to. I need to know what it is. I need to. I need to I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what a funny dog. Hello, doggers. Hello, dog. The main problem with coming this way is that Intercourse, where we are now, Intercourse is a major tourist attraction. Major. 
there's Kitchen Kettle Village, there's a few other things, and then there's the Amish. And people come from all over the world to see the Amish. And I'm not exaggerating when I say all over the world. Often tourists from various parts of Asia, I don't know about South America, but Europe, I've seen people from Africa. So many, many, many different parts of the world. And I've got something in my eye. I've got to blank it out, but it does. I think I got it. We have now passed through intercourse. One of the difficulties when you get into this part of the county too is that the Amish do not get over and you end up in situations like that. You're allowed to pass them when it's safe. You just have to give them, I think, four feet, same as bicyclists, and you're not supposed to like rev your engines or anything near the horse. Nothing to spook the horse if you can avoid it. Because, come on, it's not the horse's fault he's tied to a carriage. Uh, amazing drive. This is a beautiful area. One of the reasons why it attracts the tourists, but it's made beautiful by the Amish and the Mennonites and so on, who farm it. It's very flat again through here, but there are hills around. Not quite the same as by Mannheim, but there's hills around. And here we are, coming into Gap, actually. <laughs> but it is just east of Paradise. Wow, that came out a lot further to the east than I thought it did. All right, this is paradise. So there you go. We went through intercourse, we got to paradise. It's a small place on the map. A few churches, some homes, a couple of businesses. Bank of bird in hand. I don't name the places. I do not name the places. They came that way already. Thankfully, we're not going to pass through Blue Ball. That's up near New Holland. Again, I did not name the places. Don't look at me. I simply repeat the names. Well folks, I'm running out of batteries, so I'm going to say thank you for watching. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. Good and fool out.